What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Grand Theft Auto LSPDFR. If you guys are new to my channel, make sure to go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, share, and hit that notification bell so that every time I upload, you guys will be the first to know. So today we have Officer Isla reporting for duty, and we are in this Crown Vic Miami-Dade police. So let me know if you guys are enjoying it, of course. So yeah, shout outs to the MIA if you're from there definitely leave a like on this video and um yeah what else can i show you guys oh yeah this spotlight we're gonna try to use that tonight so uh yeah let me know how you guys are feeling about that okay dispatch show me available yeah guys so i don't know about the spotlight but we're gonna try to use it okay so um we're gonna be did i say that this is a gang unit episode guys y'all already know where we are okay this is going to be a gang unit episode you guys really seem to like the nighttime ep did he just stop all crazy like that or was that me um anyway you guys seem to really like the nighttime episode so um yeah here we are and you guys see the stars okay you guys definitely see the stars so stop playing with me okay um, reckless driver reported in Polito on, Forest. Um, We're obviously Procopio not going to go all the way over there. So um, what we might actually do is check some alleyways and such because we haven't done that in a long time. They almost got into a whole accident right in front of me. Like, come on, bro. Be, be smarter. So we actually have some people hanging out right here. We have assistance required in... I'm not going to go get that Canyon. either, guys. Just, we're not, okay? Dispatch, code 4. Alright, let's go ahead and see Attention what's up with these people right here. If they have unit. anything on them, any warrants. Um, they seem to be involved in some type of, you know, but we don't really know. So let's just go ahead and see if we can get him out of here he has lower arm has Thank needle you. marks oh my gosh i don't even want to deal with this we're gonna let them go on foot guys and just get him out of here you know what i mean like we're not gonna start any problems and stuff we're just gonna tell them to go and hopefully they'll they'll all comply oh <laughs> he's mad he's big mad okay he's big mad report a disturbance and the Ooh, main bank a good statement. call dispatch them you're responding units respond code three all right i'm gonna need you to leave too bro you ain't trying to listen or what i'm gonna need you to go as well so it seems like they might have been getting into a couple things out here on the on the street but we're just gonna let him go like i said come on my partner be taking forever to get in the car bro okay so we have a call about a what did it say a security guard being attacked so let's go ahead and get over there um <laughs> i don't know i just had a funny thought in my head like security guards like they be really getting the brunt of it because like you're supposed to be able to do stuff but really it's like how much can you do like at the end of the day you still gotta call the police but look at those stars against the bridge lights Oh, y'all ain't, y'all ain't messing with me. Who messing with me? Nobody, okay? Stop playing with me, all right? Stop playing with me, okay? I does this, okay? <laughs> but let's go over here. Are they at the, oh, they're at the arena. Okay, poor security guard, poor security guard. Let's see what's up. Let's see what's up, guys. Dispatch from me on scene. I don't even think we've been over here in like a good while. Let me go ahead and turn off that siren because that would get annoying. All right. Oh my gosh. We need to come over here more often, right? It looks super, super nice. All right. Let's go ahead and find the security guard and see what's up with him. Oh, dang. He all on the floor and stuff. What? How are you doing today? I'm doing fine. Uh, some maniac attacked one of my guards okay what's the description do you know which way he went Target that way in Davis. okay i'll see if i can find him <laughs> he is on the floor baby okay like the ambulance could have at least sat him up gave him some apple juice or something like come on now 
<laughs> Come on, ambulance. Be better than that. All right, partner, where you at, girl? She's still inside, not minding her business. Okay, as usual, y'all know in LSPDFR, you gotta wait forever for your partner to come in the car. But it's all good. It's all Gucci. I'm loving those bridge lights against the nighttime stars. It's looking so nice, guys. All right, let's go ahead and find this guy. Um, they said that he was somewhere around here. So let's see if we can find him, what he looked like. All right, he, he, so did he just like attack him and then start running? Oh, oh, there he go, right there. There that man go. Let's go ahead and get him, guys. Let's get him tonight. All right, let's call some backup just in case we need it. Because we already know he's feeling a little rowdy tonight. Let's get out of the car. Oh, he pulled a loop-de-loop -loop on your girl. No, he did not. Start get down on the ground. Oh. <laughs> I thought I was going to tackle him, guys. Get down, get down, get down. Don't even try it. I did not need to, like, do a whole haymaker. <laughs> but we got him, so that's what counts, okay? All right, we got the suspect in custody. So let's figure out what is going on uh, with this guy. Let's see. Well, okay, sir. Calm down. Hold on. Yo, these, like... <laughs> Drivers, he got a nice car though. That car is nice. We're gonna slow. Oh, is he gonna run over that officer? Oh, that dude is tripping. I ain't got time for him right now, guys. I have no time. Okay, um, let's get back down to my vehicle. Let's release him and have him kneel down right there so he doesn't go anywhere. I'm actually gonna move uh, this Crown Vic out of the way. That way it doesn't cause a whole bunch of traffic because y'all know I got mad traffic in the game, okay? Mad traffic. So it's not just, you know, one or two cars you're going to see every five minutes. <laughs> Let me stop. Let's get him up. Let's get him up and uh, pat him down, see what he has on him today. So, sir, do you have anything on you that is going to prick me, stab me, poke me, or cause me any harm today? Let's see. Um, he has a pistol. Oh, wow. So did he like pistol with that guy? I don't know. What were you doing? I don't need to answer that. Interesting. Have you taken drugs? I'd like to think I don't come. I come off more responsible than that. Well, n not really, sir. Not really. Um, what else can we ask him? Let's see. Um, what is he going to say to that? I don't want to go to jail. I mean, you're going to have to, bro. Like, you're going to have to. I'm sorry. Let's see. What else can we ask? Who does the weapon belong to? Um, Damon sold me this firearm. Use a snitch. Use a snitch. <laughs> Use a snitch. So he only had that one thing, right? I think that's all he had. Yeah, and a face mask. So I don't know if he was trying to rob the place or what. But let's go ahead and get a pet check on him. See if he has a warrant or whatnot. And driver's license valid. Um, no active warrant. Let's go ahead and call him a transport. Also forgot to uh, make sure the time stays consistent. So let me go ahead and run that back right quick. There we go. Um, yeah, I'm like, hold up. It's getting a lot lighter. Like, what's going on? But, um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and just see his, what is it called? See his record? See, ooh, I pressed the wrong thing. Sorry, guys, I pressed the wrong thing. I actually, I accidentally pressed my panic backup units. Um, I'm actually just trying to get something else, so we'll just dismiss them really quick. Hopefully, they don't come over here. But, um, yeah, let's go ahead and see his record, if he has anything on there. And, um... Yeah, I guess, I don't know. Should we do charges? I get, I'm already here. Why not? So, yeah. Let's just go ahead and give him, like, just a few. We're not going to do too, too much. But we'll just give a few charges for this episode. I mean, guys, sometimes, I don't know. Sometimes I'm not feeling doing, um, you know, charges. Sometimes I am. But we'll just go with it. But let's see what is going on with this pistol. It's stolen. 
It is stolen. Thanks. Oh, we definitely gotta put this in. We gotta put this in. We have to. We have to. All right, guys. Thanks. I don't even remember if I told y'all if I was doing charges or not, but it looks like I am. So, <laughs> so whatever. I changed my mind, okay? I'm allowed to do that as a human being. I am allowed. All right. So we're just gonna put that in right there. Like I said, we're not gonna do too much on charges today though. Like we're not gonna throw the whole book at their forehead like I usually do. We're just gonna keep it simple, okay? We're gonna keep it simple. And uh, yeah, we're gonna be all done with that. So let's go ahead and call for that baby. Dispatch, let me code four. All right, let's carry on, guys. Let's carry on. So that was pretty cool. That was cool. I got to go to the maze bank more often because it looks nice in there. Let me know how you guys think, of course. And if you're still watching, make sure to go ahead and smack that subscribe button as well as the like button on this video and show your girl some love. And if you're a hater, be a hater, but show some love still. Dispatch, show me responding. Okay, why do we have a whole other call right out here on the street? Guys, why is it so lit over here? I already see them fighting. Ooh, she is sticking him. Ma'am, get down on the ground. Ma'am, get, oh, that, yes. I was about to say, did I miss her? Get down on the ground. Oh my gosh. Get down on the ground. Okay, she dropped the knife, guys. What the freak? Did they just run? He probably ran over here because he saw the lights, guys. He probably ran over here for help. That is a smart man. That is a very smart man. Fucking immigrants. Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, shoot. Why they make him say that? I don't like that. I'm a, I'm a whole, well, not anymore, but I wasn't born here, but I don't like that. Don't be, don't be saying that AI. That's not nice. All right, we kneeled her down. Let's go ahead and see what's up with this guy. Um, Let's see, let's see. Uh, do you have identification, sir? Thanks so much. All right, John. Okay, John. Let's go ahead and see if he um if he needs help. Where are those questions? I know I saw them somewhere, guys. Like questions about if he like need help or something. Um hmm. Alright, he's making nervous eye movements, so I don't know. Let me go back. Um, I know that they're here somewhere. Let me go ahead to this list. There, what are y'all fighting about? Um, phone number in their pants pocket. Okay. Um, yes, here we go. Do you need EMS? Yes, thank you. Okay, so we took mad long to find that, but it's okay. Um, would you like to press charges? No. Man, she was she was stabbing you. Like, you should press charges. I don't care if that's your baby mama. Press charges, okay? But we're going to call him an ambulance. Ambulance. And um, required on a hopefully we can get him parkway. some help. Like, he should have pressed charges. I don't care. Mm -mm. If it was me, I'm pressing charges. I don't care. But let's go ahead and see what's up with this lady. Pat her down. Do you have anything on you that's going to prick me, stab me, poke me, or cause me any harm today? She has a pistol on her. What was she finna do, guys? Heather Hills. Okay, let's get a pet check on this girl. What was she finna do? She has a warrant. Why are you acting crazy? She has a warrant. Maybe that's why he didn't want to press charges. Because he knows that she's wanted already. Mm. He trying to be a ride or die, but she's out here acting crazy. So let's go ahead and check this pistol and see what's going on with that. Um, okay, so it is valid for her, but I, I thought it said that she didn't have a um a, a permit. Whatever, guys. You already know how it goes in LSPDFR, uh, to be honest. But um, let's see. Should we do a breathalyzer? I don't know. Let's just call her. Yeah. I'm gonna just get her transport. She didn't give off any, what is it called? Um, alerts or anything. So let's go ahead and put in some quick charges for Heather. She's wanted for committing medical insurance fraud. What? How you even do that, girl? What are you doing? And let's go ahead and just charge her with um, like assault and stuff. So 
Um, there we go. So let's see. Uh, we could probably say... You piece of trash! <laughs> We could probably say assault with a weapon, and also I want to give her something else. We might go with aggravated assault. So yeah, just do that and the basic warrant, and um, yeah, she's gonna be all set to go. But yeah, guys, I think you know what happened. I think he saw the lights in the distance, and he was running for help. Okay, that's my story. Let me know what you guys think happened. Okay, let me know down below. Leave a comment for your girl. Dispatch, show me code four. All right, we are all set. We are all set. Let's go ahead and see what else we can get into. Reckless dress. Did they just crash into the police? Oh man. All right, so we're gonna continue to drive around, guys. Let me know how you guys are liking this gang unit episode. And once again, I'm gonna go ahead and fix up this vehicle, though. That's a Fendi. And um, yeah, once again, just let me yeah, know, just, uh, uh, like, if you guys want me to totally use like certain city Wait, cars or state cars. Um, yeah, I haven't gotten requests in a while, so I'm just, you know, just using whatever. She's giving me calls from, like, everywhere. We're just going to ride over here in the ballers area, though. Make sure everything, you know, is going, is cool over here. Because y'all know sometimes they be acting a little rowdy. They be getting a little crazy. But I'm really liking the look of these palm trees over here. It's looking so smooth. Should we see what's up with these guys? Should we see what's up? <laughs> we might let him go like we did with the uh, with the supposed Vagos. But let me go ahead and get this flashlight out here and uh, just see what's up with these guys. What's going on, man? What's going on? I don't want to get too close, but <laughs> let's get ID, guys. Because you can't too close to them. You bump them one centimeter, they be going off, boy. All right, let's see if he has uh, any more or anything like that. See, we gotta get closer. All right, let's see. Matter of fact, let's just ask some questions. Um, you can't loiter out here. Get the F off our turf. Oh, why we gotta do all that though? Y'all need to leave. We refuse to leave. F you. Okay, all right, he wants to be rowdy. Um, I wanna get a pet check on him though. But let's go ahead and arrest him since you he wants to be right rowdy. To yep, your friend is out. So since you want to be big and bad, let's go ahead and detain him and see what's up. And let's see what's up, guys. So um, I was just talking to him. He didn't have to be cursing at me and stuff like that. So I'm going to pat him down, see if he has anything on him. All right, you got anything on you that's going to pick me, stab me, poke me, or cause me any harm? Um, 116 ounce tan powder and tin foil. Not really much, but let's see. Attention, all units. Respond code three. Aborted 911 call on Rancho. Dispatch, show me responding. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get that. We're gonna let him go. All right, don't let me catch you out here with this stuff on you anymore. All right, don't be having an attitude. We're also gonna let him go, guys, uh, because we did stop like <laughs> we stopped multiple. All right. So he's lucky. Um, ooh, I almost got ran over. Oh, not me getting ran over, baby. Okay, let's go ahead to that aborted um, 911 call in Rancho. So we're just gonna confiscate that uh, contraband, I guess, from him and carry on. Um, I really didn't want to arrest him anyway, but he had a little. Oh, <laughs> why did? He uh crash like that he had a little contraband on him i just wanted to i guess you know get him under control because when they be acting rowdy like that you just never know all right so we got an abandoned 911 call so let's see what's happening over here let's see what's good with this do we need to there we go okay force entry Oh, ma'am, get off of her. Get off of her. Get off of her. Let's get the stun gun. Oh, shoot. I got the wrong person. Let's get her down. Oh, my gosh. I, I stunned the wrong person. My bad, lady. I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. And we got her right in the head. Like, what? All right, let's pick this lady up. 
Let's pick her up, guys. I am so sorry, ma'am. You already been through a lot. Um, she has been punching me and attacking me for a month now. Interesting. She won't be coming back anytime soon. I'll have an ambulance on the way. Thank you so much. All right. So why are you letting her attack you, though? You shouldn't be letting her attack you, girl. Did it? How do we exit here? Did it say? Y'all know sometimes when you exit somewhere, you be in a whole different place, shouty. Like, <laughs> all right, there we go. No further units required. There we go. Yeah, what is happening? What is happening right now? GTA Five glitches. Y'all already know in Grand Theft Auto. Okay, how could we? How could we uh, fix this right here? Let me let her go. Grab her back. And there we are. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we have this lady who seems to be beating up on the other lady. We don't know what the story is. Let's go ahead and pat her down. Ma'am, do you have anything on you that is going to prick me, stab me, poke me, or cause me any harm today? A wad of counterfeit bills, a portable hard drive, and prescription. Somebody else's name. Um, what else can we ask? What were you doing? Just looking at pictures of Damon Albarn. Interesting. Interesting. Let's. What else can we ask, guys? Um. Hmm. Let's see. I can see visible injuries. Um. She hit me too. I didn't see her hitting you though. I didn't see none of that. Placing you under arrest. Wow. What the f? What did you expect? You know. Um, it's super complicated, as you can see. All right, so I'm going to make up a story, guys. I think they're sisters, and I think the other sister had a man, and she's she's mad because she's single, okay? And she don't want her man, her sister's man, coming up in the house. That's, <laughs> that's what I think the story is, okay? Let's go ahead and do a breathalyzer. She does have some um, intoxication alert. So Thanks let's see so if she much. was drinking. Um, she was drinking a little bit. She was drinking a little bit. So let's go ahead and get a drug swap. A drug swap. So yeah, I think the sister was trying to call and she like pounced on her. Thank you. And hung up the phone, you know. And she's also intoxicated with that Mary Jane and that you know that other one right there. Um, oh, so she got a couple. She got a couple things going on. Shawty's, Shawty's a little crazy, okay, and not the good crazy. Like Shawty might be like. <laughs> never mind never mind all right we're gonna go ahead and give her assault with a weapon because she was like you know attacking her with a knife and then we're gonna go ahead and say um is it is it public intoxication with drugs is that still considered like i'm not sure y'all let me know um but she in harassment yes but she was like you know under the influence and whatnot and um, let's see, she had um, counterfeit bills. I don't know, but I just want to charge her with that. So let's see if I can find it right quick. But um, hmm, is it like, I know it's on one of these lower ones, like at the bottom. It's definitely in one of these lists. But yeah, y'all let me know what you guys think. Here it is. Yeah, there we go. Possession of counterfeit money. But y'all let me know what the story is. I think she mad because her sister got a man. And uh, she don't got one. So she angry at her sister. You know? Um, and then she pounced on her when she was trying to call the police. But let's go ahead and... Um, should we put her in the back seat and take her to the station ourselves? Why not? Let's go ahead and do it. Let's put her in the station ourselves. Um, and yeah. That's basically going to be what's going on tonight but let me know what you guys think um in the comment section what the story is i think i said that for like the third time now but <laughs> it's all right and um where should which well we're right around the corner so yeah we're basically like right here next to the station so it's not gonna be that far but guys in my let me update y'all with my neighbors they're getting crazier and crazier by the day y'all already know when it starts to get hot outside people start to get wild okay like they just start to i don't know i don't know but make sure to go ahead and smash that like button 
and comment down below how you guys are liking this episode. But yeah, I'm a, I'm gonna update y'all <laughs> in most of my episodes because they just keep acting crazy, and there's no reason for it. Like, why are you singing at seven o'clock in the morning? Like, why are you yelling in the hallway off of nothing? We're gonna go ahead and take her in by ourselves, guys. Let me know down below if y'all have crazy neighbors. I wanna know. It's not just me, okay? I wanna know it's not just me. And then the other day, oh my gosh, I have to tell you guys about the other day when there was like two girls fighting right outside for like an hour. They were yelling up a storm, but guys, if y'all want a story time on that, maybe I'll do a live and, um, and tell that story. And we gonna leave the handcuffs on her in here because obviously she's uh she likes to pounce on people and stuff. So we don't know what she likes to do and get all crazy. So we gonna Damn, leave her hands bound, okay? Cause yeah, we're not about to have that in here. But um, we do have some charges to check out. All right, guys, let's go ahead and do these charges. So my partner doesn't want to get in the car, but yeah, let's go ahead and check out this guy. Um, simple assault he was given about no time in prison 476 dollars he was fined okay interesting what did he get for the stolen firearm let's see what he got three years in prison fine two thousand dollars so he didn't get any time for the assault wonder why i don't know um this lady got four years and three months in prison um for the aggravated assault on maybe her boyfriend i was thinking and um she got yeah she got four years in prison basically for the warrant nothing else and then this lady assault with a weapon intoxication and possession of counterfeit money she was given a total of uh, five years and five months in prison most of the time was for having counterfeit money so again i really hope that you guys um enjoy this episode today if you did make sure to go ahead and subscribe like comment share and i'll catch you guys in the next one